Today we're going to talk about incentive levels for insurance plans. Now I don't know about your area of the country, but here in the state of Washington, and I think California as well, have several dental plans that use incentive levels, which means that the patients start out maybe at 70% and then they work their way up to maybe 90 or 100%. And how do you attach the right percentage to each patient? So we're going to go through a little demonstration. I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to start with Jennifer. Jennifer here is the mom and Jennifer works at Walmart and Walmart has an incentive level plan for the family. And Jennifer is at 90%, Bailey is at 70, and Archer and Mason are both at 80. So we're going to get the correct incentive level dental plan attached to each patient and I'm going to show you how to do that. The first th thing we're going to start with is we're going to click on Jennifer, double click into the insurance information, and we are going to attach the 70% incentive level onto Jennifer. So I'm going to highlight the Walmart incentive level, 70%. You can see here that you will have a separate plan for each incentive level because um, you need a different plan for each incentive level because you need the, the separate coverage tables for each plan. So I'm going to select the 70%. I'm going to attach that to Jennifer. See whatever her group number or her ID number is here. I'm going to click OK. <clears throat> Then I'm going, to go to Ma I'm going to go to Mason and I'm going to attach that 70% level plan to Mason and Archer. <clears throat> now I'm going to go back to Jennifer. I'm going to double click in here. I'm going to click into this. Now make sure you click current patient. Don't just change this plan. Click current patient. Now I'm going to select the 80% level. Click OK. I'm going to attach that to Bailey. So Bailey is going to select the 80% level here. I'm going to click OK. And if I double click into Mason and Archer, see how the 70% level is still attached to those two. And Bailey has the 80. Now I'm going to go back to Jennifer and I'm going to attach the 90% incentive level to Jennifer. So you can see here we've got the 70, we've got the 80. I'm going to click current patient again. I'm going to go down and find the 90% level for Jennifer. There we go, 90%. Make sure these boxes are checked so you get paid. Click OK and now I've attached the 90% to Jennifer. I still have the 80% attached to Bailey and I have the 70% attached both to Mason and Archer. So that's how you attach multiple incentive levels to different patients. Now let's say that Archer and Mason have come in and now they're at the 80% level. You can now click into here, click into the subscriber and find the 80% level here. See you have all three listed there now. Click on the 80 and now I can select OK. Now it is, it's attaching the 80% level to Archer and I have Mason still at 70, Archer's at 80, Bailey's at 80 and Jennifer's at 90. I hope this little demonstration has helped you to a little bit understand how to attach incentive levels to your patients. Thank you.